hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to keep you updated on the latest news to as to what's happening on the roads in Jamaica so an article came out recently that we're going to talk about and it says motorists encouraged to pay outstanding traffic tickets before new road act new road traffic act comes into effect so what's happening here is there is a lot of lawlessness on the roads in Jamaica. You have seen it from the videos when you watch them. So the government has passed some new laws. It's the new Road Traffic Act and it's going to come into effect on February 1. The act has been passed already but they're giving motorists a chance to pay their outstanding traffic tickets because there are over 1 million unpaid traffic tickets in Jamaica. Over 1 million. And the way the, it's supposed to work now is if you have an outstanding ticket, you're not going to be able, after February 1 that is, you're not going to be able to license your car at the tax office. You're not going to be able to renew your driver's license. This new road traffic act has much, much harsher consequences. So let's read the article so everybody can be up to date as to what's going on and then we'll discuss it after. Motorists are being encouraged to address their outstanding traffic tickets ahead of the new Road Traffic Act, which will take effect on February 1, 2023. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, in his New Year's Day address to the nation, reminded that the infractions are to be settled at the courts. In December, Cabinet had arrived, had arrived at a decision that if motorists pay off their outstanding traffic tickets by the end of January 2023, demerit points will be expunged upon the implementation of the new Act. This applies to tickets accrued after February 1, 2018. Mr. Holness said, Mr. Holness said that the act will go a far way in bringing order to our roadways. To motorcyclists, who he noted as both a significant cause and victim of road crashes, the Prime Minister informed that come February 1, it will be mandatory that all riders and pillions wear a helmet and that motorbikes be sold with helmets. In the meantime, Mr. Holness disclosed that the capability of the police to issue electronic tickets will more than double with the arrival of e-ticketing devices in the next few weeks. Even though this new system, warrants will be issued in a seamless and timely manner. Traffic violators will no longer be able to ignore tickets. They have accumulated and continue to drive recklessly without consequences, the Prime Minister warned. Okay, so that's the end of the article. So, the government is giving persons a chance to pay their outstanding tickets. Now, what was happening is, or the way the system was to work is if you get a ticket, you have 21 days to pay it at the tax office. If you don't pay it at the ta tax office, within the 21 days, you have to go to court. Now, if you don't show up for court, then a warrant was to have been issued for your arrest. But for some reason, the courts were not issuing warrants. And as a result, persons started to rack up traffic tickets. Some people or persons have over 100 unpaid traffic tickets and are still driving on the road. So there was a serious breakdown in the system and that is one of the reasons why there is so much lawlessness on the roads. But under this new act, warrants are be going to be issued electronically. So if you don't go to, if you don't pay the ticket, you don't appear, you don't go to court, then an electronic warrant should be issued. And the police will now have 
a better means of identifying who has outstanding tickets when they stop them and who has warrants out for them. Also, under this new act, the tickets will now be issued electronically. So if you run a red light at a stoplight and the camera picks it up that you ran the red light, a ticket will automatically be issued for the person that the car is registered to. So it won't be issued to the person driving. It will be issued to the person who the car is registered to. So when that person goes to renew their driver's license or do any business, read a car at the tax office, they will not be able to do it until the outstanding ticket is paid. So that system, it works because a lot of other countries use it. It's just that the Jamaican law at the time would not allow tickets to be issued like that. So under this new traffic act, you can issue tickets like that. And so it should definitely help re maintaining law and order on the roads. All right, guys, just wanted to keep you guys updated with the latest news. So remember to like, share and subscribe. Also, leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys, have a good day.